Hello everyone, Crydax here and welcome back to our clean, compact, and tileable blueprint series. Today we will be working with converters, a very exciting tier 9 building. So it's pretty standard uh, as far as what we do compared to our other blueprints. So we'll hop straight in today, go ahead and clear this out, and we'll grab the converters. As usual, I face them towards the computer, that way the white arrow for your blueprint is kind of the output side of things. That just helps, especially for buildings like this that tend to look kind of the same from the front and the back, that helps me remember like where the inputs are and where the outputs are. So for the converter, the inputs are two uh, solid inputs. So we're gonna be grabbing our stackable conveyor poles. As usual, put them kind of right lined up with the edge here. That's because otherwise we're gonna get clipping. Um, there's not really any empty space there's a tiny bit of empty space here. You could maybe shift the belts over by one. Um, you know, again, uh, I think there's a little bit of a question between what's what's clean versus what's compact. You know, and sometimes those those two things are at war. Sorry, we need three of these on each stack. So sometimes clean is competing with compact and vice versa. So I I like to find try to find a good balance between the two and your your personal balance might be in a different space. So we go left to right with the belts. I am doing Mark 5, but it's very possible that you have Mark 6 belts at this point, which is a very exciting part of the game, but I won't I won't use those in this case and spoil what they look like for those who haven't gotten there yet. So, as usual, I go three tiles out with this. Um, I think this one we can try two tiles and see what it looks like. I'm actually forgetting uh, which one is better in this case. I think the two tiles is too close. Uh, yeah, so personally, I, I like when you can see the front of the lift here. And the two tile version, you can see the front of the lift clips into the... Uh, the splitter here. So I personally don't like that. That doesn't mean it's wrong. If you like that, you can make the whole blueprint a little smaller if you do that. So again, it's clean versus compact are competing here. But those are now snapped to the belts and then we need to remake the lifts. I will need to rebuild this belt to be one tile further out. So it's one, two, three. And then we hook it up. And then I will be removing the conveyor poles now before I forget. And we do the same thing over here. We come out Three tiles, two, three, build our dummy lifts, get our splitters snapped. Again, the trick, if it's not snapping, the trick is to put a splitter on top of the lift itself, and then it usually, that will cause it to snap properly. If it's still not snapping properly, at that point you can build a whole splitter tower, you know, which is just doing this, sometimes a merger tower, you know, try different things. Um, the split, the splitting, uh, snapping in this game can be very finicky sometimes. So try lots of things if it's not working. But yeah, there's your inputs. Uh, nothing left to do on that. We might as well remove our stubby ends at this point. So that way when you tile these, like before, you can just connect this belt straight to the next one. And then we'll fly over to this side and you'll notice, ah, oh, we have a fluid output. Uh, converters are interesting. You've got two solids and then a solid and a fluid out. So we're going to do the pipe on the bottom. Again, that prevents needing more head lift in different places. So we'll put a stackable pipeline on the front here and then a regular stackable pole. Again, the belts and mergers will clip a little bit into the pipe, which for whatever reason, I like slash don't mind the look of, but if you do care, you should put the belt one higher. So I try to give those options to you guys so you don't feel like, you know, if you like a different thing, I'm judging you. I'm not judging you. It's just not the way I'm doing it. So then we can connect the pipeline kind of the same way as we have with uh, other ones. It Weirdly, it will conflict with the building at an angle, but it works nicely. Unfortunately, uh, if you go vertical, there's not a connection here that works. So you can't do that. You have to go horizontal, kind of like our blender blueprint. And then it has this cool kind of goes straight out and then a 180 turn. I actually really like the look of that personally. Um, another way to do it, you probably could just build the whole thing up a tile higher. So you your pipe would be on the third level here. And then I'm guessing you can do a straight down connection. 
So again, that's up to you. Uh, depends on what you like the look of. Because the lift has to go around the front of the pipe anyway, it's not gonna make it that much smaller. But you probably could save, you know, one tile on the end if you did it that way. I'm not sure. For me, you know, I just like keeping the pipes lower to the ground because that ends up needing less head lift for everything. Though I will say the fluids that you're working with with converters, uh, they may or may not need head lift, so I guess it doesn't matter. All right, we'll get our splitters snapped. Is this one not wanting to snap? Oh no, it does. Okay, there we go. Deconstruct our lifts, reconstruct our lifts. Uh, they're not snapping. Oh, that's because these are splitters. That's the second, I did that in the blenders video too. I don't know what's gotten into me as I'm recording these. All right, get our mergers to snap, because this is the output. I think I've done it in other videos, too, to be honest. I just am always grabbing splitters, apparently. All right, so there you go. Your mergers are connected up, and we'll remove the belt segments on this end. And then, as usual, all that's left is power. So power is a little interesting on this one, because, again, it, there's not, like, a clear place where we can put power lines. It just so happens, though, if you place them right there next to the edge, the wire can just fit between this space uh, that the converters leave. So this one actually works out quite nicely. Um, so power line connect to this building and then connect to the next power line. And then that one connects to this building. And you can see that there's no clipping with the wire. It actually just goes through nice and clean. And this is with Mark II power poles, Mark I power poles are a little bit lower, but even those, I think, actually would work properly in this case. So, either way, you definitely have access to Mark II power poles or Mark III power poles. I never use Mark III's because I just don't need that many connections, so I never even made the switch. So, I'm not sure if those are that much taller. They might not even work. But we'll go ahead and save it. As example, converters, X2, and we'll do Mark V because that's the belt we're using. And we can be thorough and say P2 for pipe 2, but you really should only be using pipe level 2s at this point in the game. I can't imagine why you'd use a tier 1 pipe unless you were trying to limit fluid flow. Which, you know, maybe you do want to do that, so there's nothing wrong with that. But there you go. There's our blueprint. We'll go ahead and save it. And we're going to go ahead and test tiling these over here, as usual. We'll grab our converter example, and we're going to go this way to the right, build that. Okay, now that we have enough of the sand fluctuators, we can build our second blueprint. And as usual, it's up to you whether you want to remove the belt segments here. You will end up having less belts to upgrade later, so if you're being thorough, I do recommend it, and then you just connect from one splitter to the next. And I wouldn't remove these because I personally like to use these to bring other resources kind of above the build, right? So now I could easily have either more converters down the line or other buildings and just bring in, you know, iron plates or whatever. So that's why I like to leave these in. It's up to you, though. You could just remove them because at this point they're not doing anything. So very much a personal preference thing. And then we do need to connect the power from one set to the next. And then we do the same thing over here, the pipeline. Again, you can remove the pipe and just connect the pipeline all the way through. Remove the belt, connect the belt all the way through, and we are tiled. And this marks the end of our compact, clean, and tileable series. If there's anything you think I should have done that I haven't done, let me know. It's possible I make more videos, but at least as of now, this is all I have planned for this series. It's been a great ride. Thank you guys for the, the great responses. It seems a lot of you have enjoyed these videos, and I just appreciate your participation in the comments. Um, a few couple announcements, just so you are aware. I have a Discord. It's called Crydania. Please feel free to join. We have a lot of fun over there talking about games like Satisfactory, Factorio, um, Modded Minecraft, Path of Exile 2, which is coming out soon. You know, all basically all the all the games you can think of. There's somebody over there that likes them and wants to talk about them. And so if you're looking for a community to hang out with, I highly recommend you join. I also have a Patreon. If you would like to support me making these videos, I am oh so grateful. Uh, I can only do this uh, content creation gig because of uh, people on the Patreon. So I do not want to pressure anybody. If you you're the one who knows 
uh, what you want to do and what you need to do with your money, so I trust you guys to make wise decisions. If you would like to support me, however, please head over to patreon.com slash crydax, and there are different perks for different tiers and such that you can check out there. Finally, I just want to announce that uh, pretty soon here, we're going to be streaming Factorio Space Age. That release is just around the corner, and I have early beta access, so I will start streaming that on the 14th. So please come and join that journey if you're interested in Factorio Space Age. I think it's going to be one of the great games of all time, quite literally. So I'm excited about that and hope to see you guys there. With that, I'm going to leave you alone, and you guys can let me know what you think in the comments, and I'll see you in the next video.